Customer Success Manager here at TechSoup. As part of follow-up from our first virtual open office hour session, I'd like to re-review the process for how to access user activity reports within the dashboard of your Office 365 admin homepage. In order to access the admin homepage, we'll first need to log on to the following URL, admin.microsoft.com. After putting in your global admin credentials or a similar permission level, you'll be redirected to the admin landing page that you see here. We're going to click on the ellipsis that reads show all, scroll down to reports, and select usage. Now the first time that you go to access the usage report, you're going to be prompted to enable the feature. This takes roughly 24 hours from the time that usage report migration is enabled for you to access the actual usage reports. After you've gone through the waiting period, you'll come back again to the section of the admin homepage that I just outlined. From usage, we'll scroll down to the area that reads Active Users, Microsoft 365 Services. We're going to click View More. Now, when you're redirected to this page, you'll note that the calendar reads past 30 days. The Microsoft policy that became effective July 1st that requires 85% utilization of assigned donated licenses, Microsoft Business Basic, Microsoft Business Premium, Office 365 E1 is measured in a 90-day period. So let's go ahead and change this to 90 days. We're going to scroll down and under the Export tab, you'll see usernames of the demo account that I am logged in with. The first thing we're going to want to do is click Choose Columns, scroll down to Product Assigned, click there, and click Save. Now for your user group that has access to one of those granted or donated licenses I previously mentioned, what we're going to want to do is scroll over to these columns here. These columns represent a sign-in or login instance against a Microsoft 365 endpoint. A login or sign-in instance that registers counts towards that utilization threshold. In this particular case, we can see that Lynn last had activity on Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, and Yammer on the 6th of August. As of this recording, it is the 24th. Now, if Lynn had a donated or granted SKU, such as, again, Business Basic, Business Premium, or Office 365 E1, we would want to make sure that she has recorded a login activity within the last 90 days. You have the ability to scroll through your entire tenant list and see who has logged in activity against a 365 endpoint. For those that have not, and are using one of the granted or donated licenses, we recommend that you take appropriate action, either requesting that the user registers a login and usage session at office.com, or that you consider deprovisioning a license if they no longer need the resource. For any additional questions, we encourage you to reach out to us directly. Our email address is customersuccess at techsoup.org. My personal address, which you can also see on the screen, is kmalhall at techsoup.org.